Hi, I'm Andy Robinson. I am the landscape renovator. And I know you've worked really hard on your landscape, but you really want to show it off at night. Maybe you want to be the envy of the neighborhood. Or maybe Joneses live up the street and they are the envy of the neighborhood. You need to keep up with them a little bit. Or maybe you just want to be able to get up your front walkway without tripping over yourself and feel real secure. Well, our lighting system is so simple, okay, you're going to be able to install it yourself. Now, I've got this project here, and you've probably seen it. This is uh, Bob's project. If you haven't seen it, check it out on our website. We've got about 20 videos on how we got to this place right here and, well, how we've made Bob's place look good. Now, Bob didn't spend a lot of, a lot of time on getting this together, but... Yeah. He, yeah, he watched it though. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you how simple this system is to install. That's the biggest thing. We've got two young ladies up here that have never done lighting before, okay? And if they can do it, trust me, you're going to be able to do it. So let's go up there and take a look and get started. This is uh, Sarah and this is Heather. Hey, ladies. Um, you guys ready to get your fingernails dirty? Getting, no. no. <laughs> well, you're sporting some nice aprons and some nice uh, garden bags. Nice. Bob, I bet you can find those online. I hope so. How about They're that a, pink top? Yeah, Landscape Renovator Series, um, yeah. Maggie May Designer. So, well, let's get your designer fingernails and handbags and let's go get started. What's in it for us? <laughs> One of the things my customers really don't understand about lighting is where to put the fixtures, okay? And that's what they don't understand? That, you know what? It's the first thing they don't know. That's why we're making this real simple. 90% ah. of my lighting designs are done with three types of light. Up light, wall wash, and then path light or down light. Down okay? light. Yep, down light. Now, what we want to do is we want to look at, at the house and, and balance our lighting. Okay? Balance? Balance. You want to have a light over here. You want to have a light over here. You want to have a light in the middle. So okay. it's balance. All right. We want to highlight architectural features. We don't want to light think that something that doesn't look nice. So let's we're going to light some brick over here. We're going to light a plant over here that looked really nice. And also, we're going to give um, some functional uh, qualities with the path lighting so we don't trip up our walkway. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uplight your brick here. Okay. So let's go ahead and set some fixtures in the ground, ladies. Well, hey, Bob, where they're yeah. putting these lights, they could work because what it's going to do is it's going to wash uh, some of these plant foliage and create some... Um, uh, some shadowing up here, but the brickwork is actually looks better and stonework if you come and take these lights and come in real close, Bob. Real so close? The, yep, real you said close. real close, right? Come on, real close. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these things right next to the brick. Right next to the yep. brick. And Bob, at nighttime, this is going to look really awesome because all of these little nooks and crannies are going to be shadowed and you're going to have some bright spot and shadowing pot. It's going to look awesome. Awesome. Let's go over here and get some other things left. Okay. I thought we were done. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring another light right over here. We get it down here. And what this is going to do is this is going to do another architectural wash onto the house, give us some balance. Okay, and then a couple other things. It's going to highlight the um, the facade or the roof here, and it's going to actually bounce some light back down. And we're also going to take and take that palm tree, and we're going to wash and shadow some uh, some light onto the wall. So let's get that light right about here, sir. Oh, oh that's good job! Beautiful. Thanks. One light. Let's go over here and get a wall wash in. Okay, one of our other architectural features here we're going to do is we're going to wash this corner of the house here. What I really want to do is I want to uplight this plant and wash the shadows of the plant onto the house. We don't need the intensity of light that we do on the front brick um, or the porch, but with a little bit softer light and get some shadow would be awesome. Heather, we need to put a light right about here. So Heather gets the wash again. <laughs> There you go. Watch the wall. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go on to the uh, yeah. pygmy date palm next, Bob. Okay. Let's get the last uplight on this uh, palm tree here. We've already got the architecture lit with four, five, four lights. Four lights. This is our fifth light, okay? And what we want to do is also going to give us a little bit of depth and highlight some of the focal points in the plants, which is this palm tree. So let's put the light right down here, sir. That's going to be perfect. All right, now let's go get the path lights lit and that'd be the functional part. So let's go around here. Nice legs, Bob. This isn't your parents' pathway lights. We don't no, need it's ten. No, my pathway lights. <laughs> this is Bob's pathway lights, not your parents'. We don't need ten fixtures lighting up a walkway. We just need three in this one. What we we'll do is we put them on each opposite side to the walkway, about the same distance apart. These, these lights have about a 12 uh, foot diameter beam spread, so it's gonna look real nice. We're gonna light this walkway, get a nice, real smooth, functional light up the walk so you're not gonna trip. Uh, cue the girls. Ladies. 